In this video, we're going to build a mobile responsive and free Google website. This website is for local service providers, such as plumbers, electricians, or cleaners. It will have a special feature of being able to click to call from your prospect's mobile phone. This site will allow us to capture our visitors' information to contact them back. But in this particular video, we're going to focus on the following two steps. In step one, we're going to create the header banner. And in step two, we're going to add the services. Let's start with step one, which is creating the header banner. So first we go to google.com. And if we're not signed in, the top right hand corner, you can click on sign in. If you don't already have a Google account, you can click on create account. However, I already have a Google account, so I'm going to sign in with my Gmail email address. Click next and enter your password. Then click next. Then go to sites.google.com. And you can click on start a new site. This will start a blank Google website. Click in the site title and change the title of your website to Botany Plumbers. Click in your page title and change it to the title of your page. In this case, it's going to be Botany Plumbers. Change your header image, select images, and select the image you want to add to your header. Click select. Double click on the header to add text. And in the text, we're going to add the headline. Fixed price job, emergency repairs. Center align and choose heading. Now we can click on header type, choose large banner. Now we're going to create the contact button. For this one, I'm going to open up a, another page because I'm going to copy some text and paste that into the website. You don't need to know what this text does. You just need to know to copy and paste it and to change the phone number. So copy the text. Double click the header. And choose the two yellow diamond brackets. Click on embed code and paste the text that you have copied into that text box. Now you just need to change the phone number to your phone number. Change the phone number and click next. Click insert. Readjust the size of the button area so that it fits the header. Step two, we're going to start creating the services panel. For the services panel, we first need to get the images and we're going to start by going to google.com and we're going to search for plumbing icon set free vector. I'm going to use this one, click on the image. It'll bring a bigger image up on the right. Let's click on that and click on download. Click on free download and you'll be able to download a zip file. Click on save.
We also want to copy an attribute. What we do with this text that we copy is we paste it into the website in our About Us page so we can attribute where we got this image from. This is what the creator has requested. I'm going to paste that text for attribution into my notepad until we start working on the About Us page. Let's close these unneeded tabs. Now go to Insert Layouts. We're going to choose the three image layout. But before we can go any further, we need to unzip the plumber icon set. Now let's go back to our notepad. And I'm going to click on the link to pick resize. The reason we want to resize the picture is we need to cut the icons out for the ones that we want to use in the image. You can just upload the whole icon set and just show the part of the icon set that you want to show. However, that slows the website down because the image size is quite large. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to cut out the icons that we want and then we're going to optimize it. So go ahead and upload the plumbing icon set. Click continue to edit picture. Now you just need to drag your mouse pointer over the icon that you wish to cut out. Then select Crop Selection. And we want to resize the picture to a custom size. The custom size we're going to choose is 500 width and 500 pixels height. That's just what our website requires. Scroll down. To save as, choose JPEG quality best. Then click I'm done, resize my picture. Then click save to disk. I'm going to rename the file name so that I recognize which icon this is. In this case, it's unblock toilet. Click on pick resize and we're going to do the same for the other five icons. I'm going to speed through this section because it's the same process. You can slow down the video if you like but it's just repeating the same process for each icon I wish to use.
Now for the next stage, we're going to go back to our notepad. I'm then going to click on the link imagecompressor.com. This website will allow us to compress our icon images so they're much smaller without affecting the quality or look of the image. Click Upload Files. We're going to upload all of those image files that we have downloaded. So these are the cropped image icons, the cropped icons, and we're uploading them all. You can see them loading on the panel. Now, what you can see here is the original icon image was 100 kilobytes. Then on the right, it's been compressed by 86% and it's only 14 kilobyte. So that's a big difference when you add up a lot of images. And when you look at the actual picture underneath, you can see there's not much difference if you can actually tell at all. That's when you're looking side by side. When, then, when you're not looking at the images side by side, you probably would never know. Let's go to the next one. And you can see on this one, it was 128 kilobytes. It's now 19 kilobytes. The compression has reduced the size by 86%. And when you look at the image underneath, I can't tell the difference. So this is great. And we do this with the rest of the icons to make sure the visual quality is good. And we're still saving a lot of image size. This will help keep our website nice and fast. Once you've checked them all and you're happy, click on download all. You will download a zip file that you'll have to unzip. And you'll see the file names will have a dash min in it. Now we can just add those icons to our layout. I like to put the name and price under each icon. I believe that if you don't put your prices up front, or at least an estimate or an indicator or starting from or a range, then the visitor is not gonna find any information to know whether you're affordable for them or within budget, and they will just go with your competitors. You can put a description underneath, but I don't need one. I'm just gonna keep it minimal. So I'm just gonna delete those. We're going to add another layout and do the same thing and add the rest of the pictures. I'm going to speed this up because it's the same process as before. Enter the name and prices of your services, then delete the descriptions. The final part of this section is to add a conditions at the bottom of the services panel and you can add this if you want to i'm adding it so that when visitors see our prices they understand that these are based on standard installation or replacement jobs and if there's anything outside of the scope of these particular standard jobs then they would need to be requoted to add the text we can just double click on the white space and choose text I'm going to copy the text from my notepad and paste that into the, the text field. Center align. And we're done. Congratulations, we have now done the two steps. We have added a header, we've got a contact button, a click to call, so that your prospects can click on that contact button and call you directly from their phone. We also have your services with the plumbing icon set, which will be loading fast. They're nice and light, compressed, resized and cropped. And we also have the name of the service and an indicator of the price. 
In the next video, we're going to be adding the Google Maps as well as your trading hours, your phone number, and your ABN and any licensing and your service area. Once we've done that, we're then going to look at adding a database so that when somebody leaves their contact details, that it goes into our database and it's saved there so that we can contact your prospect back. And that will be coming up next.